The Song of Shichreya, Canto 7 Song for Flavius Josephus I came to visit you in your country house, a man from Nachri, bred on mountain milk. You told me your name, and I accused you of lying, because I knew you no longer had a name, but only the image of your greed, carved in blood-red ciphers on a city wall. And we, we have erased the ciphers, we have torn down the wall, we have struck our countless dagger blows, one for each of the furies you unleashed. My father's blood cried from the ground, and I travelled, exiled and outcast, serving another man's house for the sake of my own roof. Thus did you whinge and whimper, bleating like a Passover lamb. You showed me your great book, told me the great burden of your age, and I accused you of lying, because your great book is just the great confessing of your crimes. And as to your great age, why, your crimes are ageless. And so I closed the book. I recited the psalm of history. I catalogued your crimes. I read out the list of charges. Joseph, son of Matthias, a leaf of grass is no less than the journey work of the stars, and one kiss can betray a generation, and one hand can turn the key, and one lie, Flavius, one lie is quite sufficient. I exchanged my squalid shack for your royal residence and sat for hours weaving you a death shroud. You told me of your loves, and I replied, You have never loved, for you do not understand love, you who have never hated. And I swore vengeance in my father's name, in the names of all our mothers, and I unleashed my own fury, until I had created perfect love, perfect hatred. Then you spoke of your anxieties, and I accused you of wallowing in them. You spoke of your enemies, and I accused you of betraying them. You spoke of your dreams, and I observed that you were awake, recounting them. You spoke of your visions, and I called you prophet, cynically. You spoke of your strategies, and I branded you a genius. You spoke of your friend, the emperor, and I labelled you a sycophantic dog. You told me everything you knew, name, place, detail, and I was not surprised how little and how much it was. You spoke of your integrity, and I knew that you were lying. You spoke of your humanity, and I recalled how you had killed for it. You spoke of your remorse, and I wondered that you had never learnt to laugh. Then at last you made your full confession, and I led you to the temple, manacled your hands, made you kneel down between the cedars and the ivory, mocked you, forced you to drink vinegar, plunged my dagger through the palms of your feet and hands, gave you your thirty coins, and then sentenced you. Joseph, son of Matthias, a leaf of grass is no less than the journey work of the stars, and one kiss can betray a generation, and one hand can turn the key, and one lie, Flavius, one lie is quite sufficient. Before the method of your sacrifice had been agreed upon, I found you before the mirror counting your shekels and smoothing out your hair. You asked me to bow down before you, and when I hesitated, you said it was only to let you kiss me. So I leaned forward as you raised your face to me, and I slapped you on both cheeks. Then I wielded my axe above your head and brought it down. With what insensate fury did I drive myself 
to take my grand revenge, erasing the ciphers of your name, tearing down the walls, striking countless dagger blows, one for each of the furies you had unleashed.